felt great. It was exciting, you know, to pitch, to compete, playing a real game, you know, fans out there. So it's a great first step. And your shoulder feel? Felt great, better than I expected. I mean, so I was very encouraged with how today went. Um, I threw a lot of strikes, and my arm felt the best it has felt. So it's a real good day. Were you on a pitch count tonight, Joe? Yeah, just like two innings pretty much. Uh, I wanted to get to 30 to 35 pitches. That's why I went down. Um, to the bullpen after my two innings just to finish up. How many did you throw there? Another like 12. Okay, that, yeah, that yeah. Would be right to 35. Yeah. yeah. So I just I played it once we got the three outs. Um, I had in the second inning. I just went down to the bullpen and played it like if, as if it would be the third inning. You throw really all your pitches? Yeah, I mean, I uh, there's a few. Probably wouldn't have thrown them in certain counts, but tonight I was just trying to get a feel for everything, but mostly fastball. I just wanted to let my arm go and work on my fastball command, which I thought I did well. Must have felt good. You got it up to 91 in the last pitch. Uh, that's where you typically sit in the, throughout your Yeah, career. I didn't really watch. Um, I know the first inning I might have been a little more reserved, um, just making sure everything is good and throwing strikes. Um, but once I got the quick three outs, the second inning, I really wanted to try to take it to another level and reach back to, you know, to get that end game um, momentum. So and I, I think I mean, it went well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's next? Say what? You know what's next? Uh, no, I'm going to go back to Tampa, um, talk to the trainer, talk to Ron, and we'll figure out the next five five days from here. But I'm sure n another one or two rehab starts for sure. Thanks. Kevin says he wants you to be able to throw 75 pitches before bringing you back up. Uh, how far do you think you are from your arm being strong enough to throw 75? Uh, I mean, definitely another rehab game. We'll we'll see. Um, just depends. You know, you progress every day. So after after my next start, I should know a lot more. But right now, I'm just looking to see how the next five days go. Is there an itch to sometimes push it a little bit? I mean, I, you're throwing so well, you're feeling so comfortable out there. For sure, sure there's that's like the hard up. part. The itch, the itch is tough because you want to be out there. You want to help your team. It's, it's no fun watching in the dugout every night. So you want to be back there as soon as possible. But the season's really, really long. We've played three games of 162. So I, be, me being healthy and being able to be fine the next five months is the biggest thing. So. Ron's good with you know keeping me conservative and making sure we're we're all ready because we all have the same goal. You were also throwing a cutter and a curve tonight. Is that what the other two pitches were? Yeah. Did you feel equally comfortable throwing all three pitches, or was one working? Oh, uh, I mean they all felt great coming out of my hand. I don't think they had the action I might be looking for, but it's the first time I threw them threw them in a live game situation, so that's kind of to be expected. But yeah, I mean just I got to get back out in my bullpen next game and. Hopefully they're a little more sharper and have more better movement. But I was happy with how everything went today. No, but no balls out of the infield. That that was a good. Thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the second inning I wanted to get in this couple of deep counts, maybe get a runner on, so I can you know work in like in that situation. Mm -hmm. I feel like you uh, it prepares you better working out of a jam. You you can't hold back. You got to go right at him. But I didn't really get that today. But I know it was a good day. You think three to four innings next time or? Um, uh, definitely more than two, but I can't give a limit. We'll, I'll talk to Ron and we'll figure something out. Cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Doug.